What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another What's Coming Thursday video. So we are going to be actually talking towards the end of the video about this. Measures against exploits. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that the connection has gone to the absolute dogs over the last couple of days. Honestly, man, when I was streaming the other day, I couldn't believe some of the stuff that I saw. Some of the logic that was happening, some of the lags. And we did a six hour stream. So we're going to talk about that in, in, in a few minutes, at, at the end for a few minutes. We'll have everything time stamped. As normal, you're still going to be getting everything here, all your login bonuses, everything, the daily game, all the events, pretty much going to stay the same. We have the 800 million downloads campaign that will not be ending until next Thursday, so we'll have a big campaign for that. Potentially, probably going to be the Barcelona campaign with Messi coming out, Suarez coming out and Neymar coming out. That's my prediction. Uh, we've already had Samuel Eto'o, Boyan Kerkic and of course Morientes and these are going to be gone tomorrow as well. So we, we do know, obviously, what we are going to be getting in terms of the Player of the Weeks. It is going to be national teams. They've already tweeted this out. After maintenance, in introducing 11 featured players from each country who shown during the week. So that is going to be kind of something that, yeah, I mean, we all know that what they're going to be bringing out. It's going to be kind of like a, uh, a double Player of the Week or else just a single national team Player of the Week. Now, with the Player of the Weeks for national teams, obviously, it's done on a week-by-week -week basis. But I do feel like that, you know, they can actually kind of like bring cards that you wouldn't normally see being brought out, um, such as, you know, the Lorenzo and the Nani, the Nasi. Um, it depends on how far back they go, if that makes sense. Because obviously the player of the weeks at the moment, yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're not even like, you know, top 10 problems. Like I give out about the player of the weeks, but I can see why they're doing it. I can see why some people like player of the weeks. I've tried to ease up, but it's not even in, you know, the top 10 problems that there is no, like, real need for the player of the week cards anymore. They just need to refresh them up. They're probably thinking of ideas of how to do it, but it depends. We also might get Trent and Colo Moani as well, so that will be interesting to see there. Um, but again, it depends. Like, it just depends on what they're going to do with the player of the weeks. So let me know in the comments below. I know I ask you guys every week, but as the game kind of gets on and on, I just think that we have bigger issues than the player of the weeks right now, okay? Um, because we also do have, as well as all of that, we do have all of these cards that are yet to be released as well. So these are some brand new epics that are in the database. Obviously, the mock-ups, um, somebody sent me these on Discord. Uh, these are all mock-ups or whatever. There's, they're not official uh, images right now or card images right now. But these will all be coming at some stage over the next couple of weeks. I definitely think we'll bring the, you know, the MSN pack, the Messi, Suarez, Neymar pack. That will probably come with the next campaign and tied in with Messi and you know, celebrating him and stuff like that. Um, so that's going to be interesting. The rest of the stuff, lads, that we're getting, it's going to be pretty much the same as we've always got. Now, I want to also talk about um, this. As I said, I'm not going to keep this video too long. I want to talk about this here, right? So yesterday when we were streaming, or sorry, Monday when we were streaming, lads, I honestly, I honestly never felt the gameplay as chaotic or inconsistent. When the game was playing, we scored some beautiful goals, like really, really nice goals, right? But I also feel as if the game is just kind of all over the place at the moment. Now, again, I just feel like that you can score nice goals. And you'll see here, we get the ball out wide with Hoynes. We do a little bit of finesse dribbling. And then Eto is going to take the gamble. Make the run. Brilliant with the AI. Lovely touch. Lovely touch. Boom. Right? And I do feel you can score some lovely goals like this. But I also feel as if that there's just more chaotic stuff happening. Players not reacting. Like you can see here, man. Cannavaro, 105 overall. And we're conceding a goal like that in a fairly tough game that we were going to be playing, right? And it's very hard to swallow stuff like that happening. And again, this was happening a lot in the stream the other day. Yes, bad decisions. Yes, bad defending for me. But I just felt like that there was an overall kind of like sluggishness to the game. Like passing, interceptions. When you control the game, it was fine. But I do think that, they, that the servers are struggling at the moment. And also, we do have that issue. Like players will, like are, you know, Literally, man, players that are like 105, 103 overall with like maxed out stats in interceptions. You can see the goals that we're conceding there. Players have just no recognition that the ball is there beside them, that they can just put a leg out and, and do, you know, and, and not concede a goal or to even just block it. Um, so I do feel like at the moment that this measures against exploits. Maybe they are struggling with the servers. Maybe there are people being naughty, naughty. Um, it says here that they were, you know, likely reinforce the fact that any behavior that violates the terms of use will be dealt with harshly. We strive to create an environment where users compete in a way that is fun and fair. But I just think that at the moment, man, the game is not fun and fair. Like the game is fun when it works and you can score some truly beautiful goals where like everything works and you can hit bangers. 
And when the game is at its best, I've continued to say this. Like, the game is so, is is fun. When the space opens up and you see what your opponent is doing, he's backing off, boom. And it looks nice, the animations are nice, everything is nice. But I just feel at this stage that I think that the game at the moment needs to tighten up quite a lot. We haven't got enough of the changes and I think they've reverted back a little bit too much to the touch and go, you know, ticky tack at one touch, you know, most assistance with the passing. And if that's good and that's fun and it's fast and fluid, brilliant. But you also need to have it with, alongside, you know, out wide play and stuff like that. So I hope that people that are abusing the game by exploits. We're not talking about gameplay here. We're not talking about this is not to, towards people that are using five at the back or going full blue after going to go up in the first 10 minutes. That's not what an exploit is. That's obviously their decision to play that way. And I've no issue with anybody playing anything. Um, but this is obviously from a network tampering point of view. And also, if you do play the game on mobile, I will try and check it out. But I've heard that mobile is even worse. That mobile is like horrendous lag at the moment in a lot of areas. So let me know what you guys think. And we'll check this out on Thursday in the stream. I don't, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back very, very soon. Peace.